Hello my dear AI enthusiasts! Yesterday I recorded a video uh, about new model Stable Cascade and uh, how to run it in Confi UI custom node. But in AI world everything changes so fast that I woke up today and saw that Confi UI added a native support for a Stable Cascade model. Well, I decided that I will still post my first video, so you can check it out here uh, in this uh, little link on the top of the video. And in this video I'm going to try Stable Cascade with native ConfUI nodes. So let's start and let's install everything that we need. So let's begin. Uh, we, we are going to use this uh, ConfUI collab with manager notebook. I'm going to leave the link below the video so you can just click it and start uh, using it. First uh, go to this uh, file uh, menu and save the copy uh, to your drive. Then when you saved it make sure you have all these uh, checkboxes uh, ticked and then uh, run the first cell. It's going to take a few minutes while everything is installing uh, so we have to wait and you need to allow your uh, your collab to use Google Drive and just wait for stuff to be installed. So now when the first cell uh, is done uh, we are going to the second one and here we can download models and checkpoints for our ConfUI nodes. So what we're gonna do here uh, we already have um, commented uh, uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5 by default and VAI for it um, if you are not going to use Stable Diffusion, if you want to install ConfUI just for Stable Cascade, then you can just comment out this um, part. So just add this hashtag here. Uh, but I want to compare a new uh, Stable Cascade model with a uh, old good Stable Diffusion. So I'm going to download this one and I'm also going to download the a stable Diffusion Excel one, so I could compare uh, it to both of them. Uh, so I am uncommenting this line as well and I will hit uh, the play button to run this cell and then uh, after it is uh, done, after it will download our models, then uh, we can just run the next cell and it's going to run our actual Confi UI. So when uh, this cell is ready, it will print out this URL to access Confi UI. So just click on it and you are going to see the UI itself. This is a default workflow and we don't want to use it right now. But what we, can, uh, what we want to do is we are going to go to this uh, GIST in GitHub and download this Stable Cascade test workflow. So just um, click on this row button and then uh, click on the mouse button and save it as JSON somewhere. I'll just save it to my downloads folder and then you can uh, click here on the load button and load your workflow. Okay, so this is our stable cascade workflow and you can see that it is a uh, Pretty similar to the default stable diffusion workflow, but the only difference is that we have two uh, models here, stage B and stage uh, C. And we also have two key samplers for every model. And everything else is pretty the same. So here we can set the size uh, of our image. And here we can change case sampler settings and then we are going to see our preview. So uh, let's try, let's try and uh, generate an image with this default prompt. And uh, as you see it is giving us an error. It is because I forgot to uh, download these models. So to download them we are going to go to our node manager. That's why we use the collab that has a node manager. And here where um, we have uh, a lot of uh, settings and buttons, we need to click on these install models. And here we can search for stable cascade. So I'll just search for cascade. And you see we already have uh, models here. So which one we need to load? If you go back to the UI, you see that we have stage B and stage C safe tensors here. And we need to load them. and. Uh, what was in the error? Um, 
yeah we need stage a stage c and stage b and we also need to load this clip g whatever is the excel so let's again go to the manager install models cascade so uh step st stage a stage b and uh, stage c okay so now uh, when we downloaded the models we need to click here and reselect them so here we are selecting stable cascade stage b because it's just different uh, locations so here it's a uh, not existing location and we just need to select them from the correct location and we also select this stage i here and uh, if you click now uh, the only thing is missing is this uh, clip G as the Excel. So if you go back to our workflow, it says to download these uh, model save tensors. And I'm going to download it myself and then upload to ConfUI folder. So uh, here I am in ConfUI and I'm going to models clip folder. So models clip. And here I'm just going to drop my model save tensors and again we have to wait a few minutes for it to upload okay so it is loaded now we can just go here and just in case we're going to restart our UI and then again let's load our workflow and yeah I'm going to quickly reselect this stuff and here in clip name as well now we can select our model save tensors and what was there uh, we also need to select this stage a uh, now let's uh, hit the q prompt button and you see it is uh, now highlighted green so it is started working and here in the logs we can see that it is doing something uh, so now let's wait i think for the first time it's going to take a little longer because it's going to load the models and uh, then uh, all the following generations should be faster. I'm also going to save this workflow so I don't have to rewrite all these paths every time. So I'm just going to save it as stable cascade workflow. It looks like it dies for me uh, because of not enough uh, RAM system RAM so I'm going to try to change my um, to change my runtime type to the high RAM one and then I'll have to run everything again uh, all the cells not like all the cells but the first one is for sure and and then I'm going to run ConfUI again yeah uh, unfortunately uh, high RAM uh, high RAM runtime takes a bit more resources but it's okay anyway I'm going to try it okay so I restarted my Confi UI uh, with the high RAM and now let's try again okay let's load our uh, default uh, let's load our workflow again and let's hit the Q prompt button and see how it's going this time okay so now with the high ram it's finally worked and it generated this beautiful uh, bottle and let's see how much time it took so it took us uh, 374 seconds that's a lot but this is because it had to download all the stuff so now let's hit the q prompt button one more time just to see how fast it's gonna be when everything is loaded already uh, so now it's rendered a uh, picture again and this time it took 64 and 9 seconds uh, so this is I wouldn't say it's fast to be honest um, but um, well let's try also to generate a bigger image and I want just to try let's say 1416 by 1416 uh, I'm just curious if it will be able to generate this big image. Um, let's try. Okay, so it is successfully uh, generated uh, new bigger images with a nice bouquet and overall a pretty 
artsy and aesthetic and it took us 122 seconds so now I'm going to do a little uh, comparison with stable diffusion and I'm going to uh, load the default workflow here and I'm going to select a stable diffusion Excel and here I'm going to select uh, 1024 and 1024 everything else I'm leaving as default and I'm going to hit the Q prompt and again see how much time it will take to generate the same image with the same prompt and same size in stable diffusion uh, okay so it rendered the image uh, and for the first time with loading the model it took uh, 130 seconds that is twice faster than stable cascade that is supposed to be faster that's uh, a bit disappointing uh, but well uh, let's try also and see how fast it will render it for the second time maybe it's gonna be slower than stable cascade I don't know okay so it rendered it second time and this time it took just 17 seconds that's a lot a lot faster than um, stable cascade that took 64 seconds when we rendered it second time so that's a surprising result uh, they promised us that stable cascade gonna be faster than stable diffusion but it is actually the opposite but let's not do the quick judgment because this new model is still in development in and uh, it has chances for improvement I'm also curious if you guys are going to run it locally on your computers and uh, if you try it uh, please let me know how fast it is and uh, does it work as expected uh, so let me know it in comments below I'll be happy to see and hear your feedback funny enough uh, if you remember uh, in my previous video I was trying this stable cascade model with a custom conf UI node that is not an official node and it was uh, working faster than the official workflow so if you want just go and uh, check my video even if it says that this uh, custom node is deprecated you still can try and run it and see what is working better for you and funny enough uh, if you remember in my previous video I tried to run stable cascade with a custom conf UI node uh, that is not an official node it just uh, someone created it to try uh, this new model faster and uh, this custom node was actually working faster than the official conf UI workflow from this video so if you're curious to try it you can go back to my old video and uh, check it out it says on the github of that custom node that is deprecated but of course you can still run it and play with it yourself so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thank you